All right, what's up, YouTubers? Um, I've been searching for a video on how to remove the passenger airbag um, for a 94 Integra. Um, I believe the 94 and 95 are identical. I just had to search for an airbag to replace the one in my dash. Um, my car was total a couple months ago. I didn't know that it would be a lot to um, go through and check to make sure that it is drivable um, to get my title unsalvaged. So I talked to the uh, state inspectors and they said that I need to make sure all of the safety features work. The airbag light cannot be on. The seat belts must work. The horn must work. So I've gone through and I have fixed my seat belts. I have I have replaced the steering wheel. You see that one's trash now. Um place the quick release steering wheel put the OEM back on it's a couple bolts my SRS light is still on so I had to go through and figure out why um, I bought this car as a shell um, the title stated that it was a 94 so apparently whoever replaced the dash used either a 98 or 97 through 99 dash I believe so after looking at the connectors the 96 and up airbags don't directly connect to the 94 and 95 model airbags so this is my connection um, coming from the wire harness. This is the connection to my airbag. So I've ordered an airbag online. Um, eBay guy in Florida wanted 25 bucks. So before it gets here, I'm going to remove the airbag. Um, I believe there are some bolts under there that have to be disconnected. This is the airbag here. I believe that I'm not going to have to disconnect these bolts. And probably a few more. I'm not really sure yet. I have the manual, but I don't feel like looking through my Haynes manual. So I'm just going to shoot for it. The battery has been disconnected. Well, it's actually dead, so it's been dead for some time. Um, <sighs> shine it outside. Just see what I'm working with. But I'm gonna go forward and attempt to disconnect this passenger airbag. All right, guys. So after further investigations I thought that excuse the shaky camera I thought that I would have to remove these bolts but apparently this is a bracket connected to the airbag these bolts one and two were already disconnected so as I start to wiggle it around and pry on it with the uh, flathead screwdriver. And uh, that belongs to a jack. I didn't feel like grabbing my crowbar, so I just grabbed this. That goes to the scissor jack since it has a flathead on it. Still feels a little stuck. I'm not particularly sure, excuse the camera angles once again, what is holding it in there, but I do see another bolt. 
there's one right up in there. You see it? Not sure you can see it. I can see it better at this angle. But that's it hiding back there. I think that may be the last bolt. Looks like a 10. So I'm gonna take it loose and see if that releases this airbag. Again, there were only three bolts that I believe. This one, this one, they were, they were already taken. They were already taken out. So I may have to get in touch with Honda. Um, I use the Honda Overstock Parts website. You just type it in Google Honda Overstock Parts. And you can type in any model Honda. You can do the same thing with an Acura. There's an Acura Overstock Parts. And you can just Google um, that. It will give you the website. I think the actual website is HondaOverstockParts.com. But I'll normally just Google it to make sure that I'm getting the right website. Um, and after, you, you can type in the exact make model of your vehicle. Search for the airbag and it will give an exploded diagram view of the airbag and all of its components and it will give you the exact part number for whatever part that you may need so again that's honda overstock parts or acura overstock parts i've learned that most of the part numbers are the same but sometimes you have to go to each website to verify that and then that way you can just call your local honda dealer and you already have this part number and I'm sure these little 10 millimeter bolts are probably about 75 cents to a dollar a piece. But we're going to see it releasing that one bolt. Getting that one bolt back up in there. We'll free this airbag. All right. So I was right. That was a 10 millimeter bolt. I'm just using my extension 10 millimeter deep socket. Get it up off of there. Let's see if this thing is free or there's some more bolts. Let's see if it's free now. You know what? I see another one. It looks like maybe one on each side. So I freed this one on the far, your far right side. If I was up straight, it would be the right side. So there's also one back here on this left side it looks hard to get to but i might have to use a i might have to add another extension on there to reach it but let's see let's see if this will reach it again it's over Put this part in and my extension reaches it it's, it's tight fit you may want to you may want to um add you another extension Hopefully that frees it. It's definitely a pain working upside down.
on, little buddy. Got it. Boom. That was it. Let's see if it frees. Boom. That's it. I need to pry it up. I've seen a lot of people say they pry it up. But I just pushed it up, man. A little, good, little bit of force. And once again, make sure everything is disconnected. I think I saw a line where everything was disconnected. I think they said give it a couple minutes. Give it a couple minutes. Um, <clears throat> this is it. Just came right on out of here. I think it's about four bolts. Just pushed it right on out of there. And again, that was two 10 millimeter, meter bolt, 10 millimeter bolts, excuse me, that I um, took loose myself. I think the others are also 10 millimeter bolts. You know, with these Hondas, man, they, it's like everything on here is a 10. That's why I have like at least five 10 millimeter sockets. <laughs> but that was pretty easy, so. There you have it.